Hi kids, in today's episode of Nerd Theater, I want to show a little uh, project that I built. This is my little retro pry uh, portable that I'm going to use to take along when I go on trips and stay overnight at hotels and what have you. Uh, I've got a little wireless controller for it. Got a little mini keyboard for it. It's got a touchpad even. And this is the pie itself. Let's move this out of the way. Pretty small. It's a seven inch screen. That's about how deep it is. Give you an idea how big this thing is. And I installed a couple of different themes on it. But here, let's let's power this thing up and I'll show you how it works. Push my little power button. Oops. There we go. That's the boot screen for Retropry. kind of slow to load you know I mean it's a Raspberry Pi I mean it's not like a regular computer where it just zips right along with an SSD drive it's got a little micro SD chip in it but anyways here's our main screen um, it starts up you can see all the uh, little images on the front there it's pretty cool and to get this to work you just push the uh, start button here on the joystick oops it's B to go back Start will start the power on the joystick, and then you can scroll through the games here. You know, all kinds of games. Game Boy Advance, Sega, Nintendo. So we'll go to Nintendo, and to start that, you just hit the A button, and then you can select your game. A button again. And it'll show a little splash screen of the game. Loads the game up. And it's just to get out of the game, it's just you push these two buttons at the same time, start and select. And that'll take you back to the screen. Pushing B will go back another step and that takes you back to the main screen and one of the other things I did here was desktop what this is is the Raspbian operating system itself we'll start this with A and you can see it's there on the list then you hit A again and that starts up the Raspbian desktop now with that I can either use my little mouse pad here to scroll. I don't know if you can see my mouse. And it also has touch screen on it, so I can use my touch screen. And there's the web browser. So that's pretty cool. Let's close that up. And to get out of that, you just go to the corner here and click shut down. And you get these three options, shut down, reboot, or exit to command line. If you push exit to command line, that will take you back to the main game screen. Back, and then we're back again. And just shut it down. Let's just start. And then you get your main menu here. Scroll down to quit. And A. Shut down system. A. Shut down. And that's it. 